everyone's been grafted. Everyone who came with me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. <laughs> Only to have their arms taken. Their legs taken. Even their heads taken. Taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know? If you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid. It's quite a lark when you think about it. Our art draws upon the powers embedded in Glinstone. But what is the nature of such power? Glinstone is the amber of the cosmos. Golden amber contains the remnants of ancient life and houses its vitality, while Glinstone contains residual life and thus the vitality of the stars. It should not be forgotten that Glinstone's sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein, a fact lost on most sorcerers these days. I don't believe we've met. I'm known as D. I hunt down those who live in death and weed their death root. Heed my warning. Those who live in death should be left well alone. All the more should you spy a mariner among their number, unless you wish to lay down your life in vain. Greetings. Nice to see you again. My name is Roderica. I should have told you sooner. Isn't this place impressive though? The round table hold Covert quarters of the Two Fingers, and gathering place of champions who vie to become Elden Lord. I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us Tarnished had such fantastic roots, although it's all a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. It's all a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. The girl you bought here. She's crestfallen and can scarcely swing a blade. But she has a gift for spirit tuning. I saw another one like her long ago. Their eyes share the same hue. I'm so happy to see you. I am Alexander, also known as the Iron Fist. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please, can you help me out of this? My thanks, a thousand thanks. Just give me a good smack from the rear with something nice and big. And I'll pop clean out, I'm sure. Don't dally. No, no, there's no need to fret. I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say.
Ah. Well played, good sir. Well played. Though that mighty wallop of yours almost spelled the end of me. <laughs> ah. Well, I'm out now, and that's what counts. I thank you. And as a token of my appreciation, I'd like you to have this. Once again, the pleasure is mine. I am the warrior jar known as Alexander. Iron Fist Alexander, in fact. I journey to the east, where I intend to further my education in the ways of war. And beyond these lands lie the scarlet, rot-blighted Kalid Wilds. And upon their southern edge is Redmain Castle, in which a festival of combat is being held. I'd heard whispers of such festivities before. Doesn't the notion set your breast a flutter? <laughs> I'm heading eastward to Redmain Castle on the southern edge of the scarlet, rot-blighted Kalid Wilds. I've heard there's to be a festival held there. Ah, nice to meet you. The pleasure's mine. Roger is the name. A sorcerer, as uh, you might have guessed. I'm looking for a little something here in the castle. When I'm not hot-footing it from the troops, that is. But enough about me. What are you doing here in Stormvale Castle? This place is bristling with tarnished hunters, you know. They sacrifice our kind for grafting. Not exactly a place I'd stroll into without a purpose in mind. I see. Here to challenge Godric and lay your hands upon a great rune, are you? You can see it then, I take it. The guidance of grace. Well, enjoy it while you can. I'm tarnished, like you. But unlike you, I've seen neither hide nor hair of this guidance for the longest time. Still. I won't forget how it felt when I first came here, to the Lands Between. I'm privy to a few magical battle arts. Would you care to learn one? As a fellow tarnished, once guided by Grace, I'd love to help you out, if it please. The battle art you've learned is of the Glintstone family. They were conceived at the Great Academy of Rhea Lucaria, to the north of this castle. In the past, they obeyed laws which contravened the Golden Order, or so I'm told. Fascinating, isn't it? That the Golden Order was pliable enough to absorb practices that contradicted itself in the past. With the Order broken, twisted, and in need of repair, such adaptability is more important now than ever. Well, 
well, well. Thought you'd just help yourself to a man's personal belongings, huh? You scheming little thief. The gods demand repentance. Cough up your coin. All of it. Do you know? You're tarnished, like me. Now, now, how did I get that wrong? I took you for a demi-human or some such. <laughs> but an innocent mistake, I assure you. Well, water under the bridge. Now we're squared up. How about we play nice from now on? A true man of reason. Just what I like about you. I'm Patches. Patches the untethered. Tarnished like you, only free-spirited. Nomadic, you might say. Only for now, those retired soldiers turned bandits. Oh, they're paying for my gruel. In exchange for my, well, showing them the ropes. But honestly, this looting racket is bloody terrifying. Frankly, I'm ready to wash my hands clean. Maybe set up a legitimate shop. So don't be a stranger. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. <laughs> mm. Don't forget to pop back for another visit, friend. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. Just joining the fray. Tarnished. Wow. You fought Marius and survived. That alone deserves commendation. I'm Eura. Hunter of bloody fingers, tarnished, held in thrall by cessblood. Zealots, who stalk their own. You stay the path. You are certain to face more of them. Just remember, no kinship with their elk remains. Their madness precludes it. Don't let your emotions stay your blade. One last word of warning. Stay clear of Agil Lake. A great dragon roosts there, and it's as fearsome as it is majestic. So, unless you're mad or wish to be burned alive, stay clear of the lake. Be on your way. Perhaps we will meet again, if fate permits. A pleasure to see you. Thank goodness you're safe. I'm still looking for my own purpose. It's not easy by any means, but it's what I must do. You're telling me I possess some kind of gift? I don't believe you. But. If I do have this talent, and goodness knows it would be my first, 
I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. Certainly he does appear intimidating and holds no love for us tarnished. But I know he's trapped here at the round table hold. So I can tell. He's a gentle soul underneath it all. If I do have a talent for spirit tuning, and goodness knows that would be a surprise. I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. Well, where have you been hiding? I took you for dead. No matter, it's all the same. Lay out your arms, then. The girl. What about her? Are you out of your mind? Who'd stay with an ugly brute who only knows how to smith? Absurd. Besides, she'd never agree to it. I refuse to believe it. I don't doubt you, but I know when something's too good to be true. What do you need? I have little time to spare. Oh, are you aggrieved? At the notion you are but a visitant here, then you would do well to remember the first words of grace given to you. Stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. If those words held any meaning to you, follow the guidance of grace. Lay low the shard bearers and claim for yourself a great rune. Do so, and the doors to the round tables in the chamber will open, and you will receive the wisdom of the two fingers. Once the wisdom of the two fingers becomes your own, I'll impart to you a proper welcome. As a true member of the round table, I have high hopes for you. I'm sick and tired of them. These numby bumby tarnished think us no more than a shelter from the rain. We've spoken long enough. I have matters to attend to. <laughs> <laughs>